bone appetite. All right, one last Mingus Mill kickoff for the Mountains of Sea Trail. Feel, feel like I've got some type of emotional connection to this parking lot now. But uh, got everything packed up at Smokemont, had some breakfast, and uh, honestly just wanted to get out of there and get away from all the people. As you can see, we have the parking lot all to ourselves once again. Uh, but one important uh, aspect of this trip uh, is that you should never ever pass up the opportunity for facilities. Uh, top off of water and whatnot. But uh, yeah, we've as far as necessity for cat holes, it's pretty limited on this trip. Um, really just our, the, the phase one aspect uh, is where we needed cat holes, but I think we're gonna get kind of spoiled. Uh, we're gonna have access to water, potable water and, uh, and facilities for the rest of the trip because we're staying at a mile high campground tonight. So the plan is we're gonna hike from uh, here, Mingus Mill. Uh, we're gonna go down uh, the highway a little bit to the, I'm not even gonna attempt to say the name of the visitor center. O'Connor Lefty. O'Connor Lefty, see? It's good, it's good to have uh, professionals around. It, make, it makes me feel smarter. Uh, but we're gonna go down to there. Um, there's a little trail back behind there and then we're gonna uh, hang a left on the Blue Ridge Parkway and the Blue Ridge Parkway is gonna take us for most of the way. Uh, we got six or seven miles of road walking uh, interspersed with trails. Um, but headed to Mile High Campground, which I'm told is actually higher than a mile. So we'll, uh, we're gonna talk to the staff when we get there, talk about a name change to greater than a mile or more than a mile high. But should be a, should be a good day. I think it's gonna be a little different uh, hiking on the road. We're definitely gonna be seeing a lot of people. Uh, it's a Saturday in September on the Blue Ridge Parkway. So we're gonna see some people, probably one or two motorcycles, I'm guessing. But, uh, but yeah, it'll be good times. See you out there. All right, made it to the Okana Lefty Visitor Center. It's not that far down the road. It's like maybe a quarter mile, but this is this is the, the visitor center. It's actually really pretty inside. It's got a museum and gift shop where the park service will happily take your money. But uh, yeah, not too bad. Easy and all. Didn't think this was going to be an issue, but we had elk in the trail that we had to uh, make sure we didn't upset in any way. Because while they look pretty docile, I imagine if you were to push your luck, they're going to win that fight. But beautiful, beautiful animals. It's a good tip. So. 50 yards and they are squawking this morning if that's what you call it I don't think they're very happy that we're around so there's a male elk on the trail and we don't really have a good detour option so I guess this is gonna be a little rest stop until uh, until he decides to move on Definitely an unexpected turn for this trip. So we managed to get around, uh, get around the elk, but I don't think <laughs> we're not to the Blue Ridge Parkway yet, so we may still see some more. But uh, just very, very cool. That's so cool. <sighs> just easing on down the trail. Good times. All right, we are officially on the Blue Ridge Parkway. We were talking about it earlier. If you're gonna road walk, road walking the Blue Ridge Parkway is probably the way you wanna do it. Because this is a scenic, scenic byway, so we'll actually have some, some decent views. And uh, it's still early in the morning, so traffic hasn't picked up just yet. But, just beautiful. 
good times. Moving on up, 2,200 feet, about 3,000-ish to go. <laughs> but it is very good times. But still, the views are only gonna get better today. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> well, we got our first landmark, sort of, for the day. Cheryl Cove Tunnel. And uh, so the there are actually bypass trails for hikers because in addition to just being illegal to walk through the tunnel, it's generally inadvisable from a safety standpoint as well. That's probably why it's illegal. So we're gonna take a little side trail around this tunnel. Good times. I gotta say, just, even though it's a short little bypass trail, it's kind of kind of breaks it up a little bit as far as the road walking. I don't mind that at all. But uh, coming back out on the other side, back to the asphalt. Good times. Made it to our second tunnel for the day, Rattlesnake Mountain Trail, which uh, I'm hoping is not an indication of the native wildlife in this particular area. But uh, another, another side trail adventure coming your way. <laughs> well, if we, even if we don't see a snake on this trail, I figured out where it got its name. Is this little side trail Got a little bite to it. It's gotta be 20 something degree incline. Holy smokes. Still good times. So yesterday, I got a pair of headphones and sunglasses off the trail, but Leonidas has definitely got me beat. He's got a cell phone. So now he's got, a, got himself a new to him cell phone. <laughs> the trail will provide good times. Made it to Thomas Divide Overlook. Elevation 3,735 feet. So we've gone up a little bit. There's Joe taking a picture of me taking a picture. But uh, it's important to document the documenting. Because if you don't document what you document, then have you really documented anything? <sighs> but. I think we're gonna take a little bit of a break. We've been, it's been pretty much a constant uphill, minus uh, a few downhills or, or straightaways on the side trails. So, hey. slow going. Oh, and Leonidas found a picnic table. No way! Oh, uh, now it's definitely good times. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, that hits the spot hiking out of here tomorrow with no food. <laughs> None. You wanna be or you're gonna be. Challenge accepted.
coming up on just below four hours of hiking, give or take. We had a couple of breaks in there. But I'm hoping we're getting close to uh, Big Witch Overlook, which is a landmark for us to uh, get off of the Blue Ridge Parkway for a while. But the thing I'm really excited about is for the first time today, we got a downhill, baby. We've been uphill since we left Cherokee. And that's, uh, that was a while ago. So going downhill is uh, much welcome. So I think I'm gonna try to pick up my pace a little bit and catch up with the group because I've been stopping to smell the roses and take pictures a little too much. And uh, there's probably a good 150 yards between me and Leonidas, so. <sighs> Here we go, good times. All right, made it to Big Witch Overlook, which, oddly enough, looks over Big Witch Gap. So, the views still don't disappoint. My kind of road walking. Beautiful. We are finally off of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, just after Big Witch Overlook, there's this forest road. We hang a left. And uh, it's gonna be forest service road and trail for the rest of the day. I think we got like four, closer to four miles. But, uh, so a little game we did to uh, pass the time on the road walk was we uh, counted motorcycles. And so, now that we're off, the Blue Ridge Parkway we can finally say we'll give her our final count. So from Cherokee to just now, 77 motorcycles. So I was hoping for a nice even hundred, but oh well. But this is this is kind of a cool little development. The trail is certainly diverse on this segment, but still beautiful. Good times. Get you going. It's gonna be like that shot we got on the that spur heflin fur. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the very first edition of As the Crow Flies Hiking Behind the Scenes. <clears throat> this is uh this is what makes the magic happen right here. This is all the effort that goes into it. So Woo! for for all of you as a crow flies hiking subscribers. You should appreciate what this man goes through. Gotta give him a pants leg just right, so. He, he even the... ran up the hill he, to set this he up. He ran up the hill. He ran up so fast that I couldn't get my camera out in time to film it. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Good times. <laughs> it's still good times. I just gotta catch my breath. It has been one heck of a climb since we left the Blue Ridge Parkway. The data sheet says it's only a 10% incline, but I will officially challenge that because it has been nothing but up the whole way. Whew. Holy smoke, it's still beautiful, but I'm tired. Whew. Good times. So we come up, we're guessing about a thousand feet in a couple miles. It's at least what it feels like. Been a pretty decent climb, but uh, stop for a much needed caloric intake break. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't make Teamwork it. makes the dream work, yeah. baby. <laughs> oh, um, but uh, just really been sitting here, and we're so high up that we're actually seeing clouds coming through the trees next to us. So they we're pretty high up. But I think uh, break's just about over. Gonna finish my summer sausage and cheese and then get on. We still got a couple miles to go, but it's gonna be, we're still climbing. So, good times. All right, made it to camp for the day. So we are at the Mile High Campground, which is just off the Blue Ridge Parkway. But uh, I wanna take a, make a huge shout out uh, to the folks here at Mile High Campground. Um, they are definitely hiker friendly. Um, they have upgraded our site <laughs> to a view site, but we've got a great view of the clouds. 
Well, hopefully the clouds will clear up at some point. But uh, they're delivering firewood to the to the site, and they're going to provide some some beverages. So that's uh, top marks in my books. So thank you all very very much. Um, if you all, if anybody watching is planning on doing uh, segment one, definitely plan your trip around Mile High Campground. This is definitely a great place to stop and and uh, lay your head for the night. So we're gonna get camp set up and then chillax. Good times. I'm still trying to get this hammock thing down, but I'm camped on an incline. Uh, and so this sounds dirty, but I'm trying to get a flat lay. When you're on flat ground, it's relatively easy to kind of guesstimate where to put your strap so that you get a flat lay. But on an incline, you kind of there's a little more, a little more nuance and art to it. But we'll see. I think I might have gotten it. So that's that's home sweet home for the night. So like I was mentioning earlier, a mile high uh, campground has hooked us up. They, uh, they even brought us kindling um, and like good kindling. So you could, you could strike this with a flint and steel if you really wanted to. But the other thing they brought us was malt beverage, which is most welcome. Very good times. I thought you had this fire going by now. <laughs> Pretty certain that's your job. We're waiting for you to finish. The <clears throat> but I plus. did, and I did save the last beer for you. We're waiting for you to drink the beer and get it going. I started to get real crazy and actually just take it and kind of break it apart and rough it up and try and get it real soft. No, but <laughs> this is starting to feel like work. Yeah. I don't, I don't know about this. I was like, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm not trying to. Cruise light boxes don't light very well. These cardboard boxes like these. Yeah. <sighs> day three is complete. Got a few more miles under our belts. We got our last day on the trail tomorrow. And uh, it's going to be quite literally an uphill battle. Going, uh, going up to Water Rock now. We got a little bit of a downhill to start out with, which I'll take. That kind of gets our uh, gets the blood flowing. Um, but then it's going to be a, a steep uphill, just taking in the uh, taking in the sights. But uh, we're just going to kind of hang out by the fire, take in this incredible sunset, and uh, go to bed. And hopefully we don't freeze to death tonight. It's supposed to go down into the 30s, and it's September. So welcome to the mountains. Good times. Thank you.